Um, you've been talking about trying to recruit Latinos to the Republican Party. How are you going to go about that? I think through correlating Republican principles with Hispanic culture and principles um, is the best way. It's through grassroots, it's through leadership, um, it's through engaging the electorate. And um, the Republican Party, they say they're pro-life, but how do you feel about the death penalty, especially the teens? Um, that's a tough subject. Um, obviously, as a, as a Christian myself, I have a high regard, a high regard for human life. Um, but I also believe that um, it's, it's states' rights, it's, it's the government of Texas' right, right to pursue whatever means of justice they feel necessary. And if voters vote for, vote for that, then that's something that I respect. What would you tell the Latino community why they should join the Republican Party? I think that if you're looking for the economy to turn around, if you're a college student and you're a graduating student and you want a job, um, if you've been out of work for years and been on unemployment because of the status of the economy, um, it's a huge reason to join the Republican Party. Um, especially in California where the current policies of the legislature have driven business out of California to states like Texas, to states like uh, Arizona. Uh, it's, it's in our best interest as not only as Hispanics, uh, who are one of the largest uh, growing small business owners, it's in our best interest to, to vote Republican, to align with the policies for our own future, for California's future. Uh, the question is, you have people in the Republican Party who don't believe in giving any breaks to people who come here who don't have documents at all. How do you get your point across to say, you know, give them a break? Well, I'm for um, legal immigration, definitely. I think that when we uh, continue to uh, reward bad behavior, it's not in the best interest of Hispanics. One, it's not fair that uh, people are crossing the border, bringing children here, who, and these children get lost in the system. This way, when they're ready to drive, they can't get uh, a license. When they're ready to go out to the workforce, they don't have proper documentation. Um, I, I think that it's very important that we understand that it, to allow the current immigration status uh, to continue is wrong for the Hispanic community. It actually hurts the Hispanic community. I think that if we focus on that as a as a party and, and forge forward as being an advocate for legal immigration, um, then that's important to the Hispanic community.